Hey everyone, Jet Saturn 7 back with a very special backcast review today. Um, I know the lighting's a little dark. Um, the room that I'm in, I have the uh, the sun peeping through uh, a Dale Jr. flag. Um, so if I turn the light on, it will have a really bad reflection um, where I record. So I think the lighting in here is pretty good um, for what we're working with, just uh, the sunlight. So anyway, on to the uh, video. Again, a very incredibly special diecast today. Today we're taking a look at Chase Elliott's 2020 Championship diecast, the Elite version. So this is the Elite box. You got the honeycomb pattern. Um, you got the Elite logo right there, Lionel Racing uh, diecast collectible, the Elite right there. There's no no render of the car here, but you got Chase Elliott number nine Napa Champion 2020 Camaro ZL1 Elite, one of 3,153. That is a lot. That's a that, that's a lot for an ARC. But when you get to an elite, that is an ins that is that is an, a very very high amount um, of elites made. That's a high amount for ARCs. But when you get to elites, that's uh, wow, that's a lot. But here's the certificate of authenticity right here, and then here is the stat card of the season. Um, see, it just kind of goes over the family um, aspect and stuff um, right here, um, and then. Flip on on the back. It shows uh, Chase's stats uh, for that year, uh, for 2020. So pretty cool. But let's get on to the car itself. This is not the Phoenix Race win car. Um, I have that one coming at a later date. I'm not sure uh, when that one's coming. Um, little, I think it's a little weird. They've got the championship car uh, before the uh, the Phoenix Race win. Um, but you you know I had to get both of them. Yeah. Uh, Chase my chase my guy, so got to get both. Um, but let's start from the front. We got Chevrolet number nine Hendrick Motorsports. We got Napa at the playoffs. Uh, two Chevy bow ties. I'm really glad that um, whenever Monster stopped uh, sponsoring the series, they were able to put uh, the Cup Cup Series logos in the playoffs and all that stuff on the windshield. Um, got your Goodyear Eagles right here. Got Cup Series champion. That's cute. Got the little number. Uh, Number one right there. Uh, no longer the round of 16, 12, 8, and 4. They just uh, put a number one there. It's pretty neat. Uh, got the neon, yellow, number nine. Got Hooters, Mountain Dew, Napa Auto Parts, Unifirst, American Ethanol Room back there. You got Valvoline and Kelly Blue Book on the seat post. You see you got your five uh, winning uh, race race stickers. Chase it right there. On the B post, we have Exalta, Freightliner, Hooters, Mac Tools, Siemens, and Cincinnati. And here on the back, we have Valvoline Napa Auto Care, number nine, Camaro Z01 1LE. Deck lid, we have Napa Auto Parts. This is den number 2781. You can see Elliot right there. You see on the roof, it says NASCAR Cup Series Champion. And this, these holes right here are where, kind of, where I can put the camera and antenna. And uh, not the camera, camera's right there. But I can put like the antenna and stuff like that. Um, it's in the box. I'll put it on there later. And this side is the same as the other side. Um, let's go ahead and take a look under the hood. I'll have to probably prop my pinky up in there to get it open but let's uh let's see what we got here got the elite engine detail it just has a chevy uh bow tie underneath the hood fuel cells uh trunk does open on these cars you see the fuel cell and stuff in there um does have a metal uh metal chassis suspension does work on the car as you can see so pretty neat um the only thing that's weird is the amount of space between the fender and the wheel. Like, the wheel really needs to go up um, quite a bit, actually. Um, but yeah, it just has this a lot of space between the, the wheel and the fender. Just a lot of space in the wheel well. Um, and also, there's a paint chip right here. Um, like, on the corner of the 9. Um, so, that kind of sucks. Um, even the back tire is up a little high. All this suspension works on that. Um... On the back of the car this side looks looks pretty good um no real issues on this side i mean of course this side is the side i'm going to be displaying the car on um by the way roof flaps do work um whenever i looked at whenever i saw this i thought it was a paint chip um going through the 3m but it's just it looks like it's just part of the camaro decaling it just goes up there it's also on this side too um i never noticed it until um i got this car you can all see just a couple little specks of paint chips i guess right there that kind of sucks um but yeah you got the exhaust got all the you know, a few more uh little... okay the more i look at this the more at this point i'm getting um all right so let's stop uh 
But anyway, um, very cool car. Um, again, this is just the, uh, the championship car. Um, the, it's kind of weird, you know, like, what do you consider his championship car? Do you consider the Phoenix Raced version the championship car? Do you consider this one the championship car because it says champion on it? I mean, you know, if you were to get the special, uh, display case, um, for this car, because you can get it, um, I was always curious at, like, which car I would put in there. Um, I'd probably put the Phoenix win car in there, um, to be honest, because that is the car that he won the championship in. The only thing special about this one is the logo, um, up there on the hood, or up there on the roof. Other than that, this basically is just the clean version of the car, um, of the neon, you know, neon yellow and stuff. It's basically just the clean version of it, um, just a few little adjustments to it. Um, you know, you got the cham the, the championship logos being the adjustments, um, but yeah, I mean, it's a very cool car. Um, very happy to have this in my collection. Favorite driver finally won a championship. Haven't seen that happen since Jeff Gordon back in 2001. Um, of course, back then I was, uh, you know, only like eight. So, you know, didn't really, uh, didn't really understand the significance. Didn't really get to enjoy that one a whole lot. Um, just because, you know, the age I was. But be now being, you know, 27. <laughs> now, yeah, it's definitely a little more enjoyable now to see your favorite driver uh, pull off a championship. Um, you know regardless of how it is or the format or whatever so um I want this car it's a new release um although i'm inclined to say that's probably sold out uh, everywhere um uh this car is gonna get rare um i just it's, it's just going to uh most chase elliot cars get rare um quickly um so I'd go ahead and pick it up if you haven't already. Um, they made a lot of them, but um, I'm the it's gonna get it's gonna get up there. Um, I'm telling you right now. Um, just remember for all your diecast needs, you can go to circlebdiecast.com. Use my code uh, Jet Saturn, uh, capital J, capital S, all one word, and you can get uh, free shipping on orders over twenty dollars. Um, but that concludes this review. Uh, please remember to like, comment, subscribe, follow me on Twitter, um, TJWard93. Um, all that good stuff. So thank you all for watching.